Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I'm starting a minute early for all the times that I've been late. So, I hope you had an awesome Saturday. I did. I ended up with, I thought I was going to have to do something and I didn't have to. So, we took a little family outing. We went and ate lunch. We went, Seth and I both got a haircut. Uh, I went to Dollar General and got some stuff. And uh, we went to the Dairy Queen. So, that's a pretty good day. So, I hope your day was awesome also. So, this morning, I woke up a little grumpy. And I was thinking about some things. And I just felt the Holy Spirit say, be joyful. And so I've tried to be joyful today. Because we have so much to be joyful for. And God doesn't want us living in the past, in our past mistakes, in our past events, in our lives. He wants us to live for today. Today, be joyful today. Today. So that's the lyrics of the song that I shared today this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into some prayer and then um, I'll read that. I've got some scriptures about joy and I may not be on here for very long. Ooh, excuse me because I need to go feed our son. God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do. God, you are the great I am and you are the great Jehovah and you are on your throne. You are our everlasting Father. You are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge. And God, you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. You are powerful and mighty and magnificent, but yet you are kind and loving and compassionate. You are uh, faithful. You are trustworthy. And you want, you are patient. You want none to perish. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we pray for the lost. We just pray, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. I pray for these people that I watched in California. Some on my side. Some on the opposite side. Having dialogue back and forth, both screaming at each other. Nobody is listening at that point. God, I just pray for the people on the other side. God, I pray that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved, so that their eyes would be open to truth. They think they know the truth, God, but they don't because their truth does not line up with your word. And your word is the only truth that matters. So, God, I just pray for them. I pray for the prodigals to come home. I pray for them to repent and to return to you and to let you reconcile their relationship with you once again. God, I just pray for all the many disasters that are going on right now, God, all over the world. I just pray that you would be with these people in the midst of disaster and turmoil, God, that you would meet their needs where they are. God, that you would send people to be the hands and feet of Jesus to help them. God, we pray, we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. We pray for all the sick, God. We just pray for healing, that they would feel your presence. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, my Pray and Share Warriors, I'm going to read this. This is very short. I really do... Um, encourage you to go and listen to this song it is it is going to make you happy if you're not joyful right now you're going to be joyful by the time you hear it so i woke up a little grumpy today thinking about some past events i heard god say be joyful this song and message by dante bow 
fit so well. I love the I love these lyrics. They are so awesome. This isn't a long song, but it sure is uplifting. Are you joyful today? We can be joyful even when we are in turmoil. Be joyful today. Be joyful that Jesus offers us eternal life through his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus died for all. Come as you are now. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So we do need to be joyful. And we have a lot to be joyful about. Hey, my friend Josie, are you joyful today? <laughs> I see that Josie has joined me, I think. I wish these little teeny tiny pictures of people were bigger sometimes. Okay, I don't think that my daily read was about joy. It was about shining your light, which is a good message too. But I wrote down some scriptures. I was in there a while ago in the living room, and I got my phone out, and I looked up some scriptures about joy. Joy just, you know, when you say joy, it just makes you, I don't know, it just makes you happy. Or it makes me happy. Okay, uh, Psalms 511 says, But let those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. So I'm going to read that again. That was so good. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous with favor. Wilt thou compass him as with a shield. So, oh, you have your baby girl with you? Tell baby girl Abby hi. Are you having a joyful day today? All right, let's read Psalm 1611. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Oh. Hello. Hello thing right there. But I need to get out of the way. Okay. I had something pop up on my computer that I had to remove. Oh, it's kind of warm in here. Okay. So thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. It's just so good. I keep reading it twice. All right, so let's go to Psalms 118.24. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I love that. Uh, I love that verse. This is one of my favorites. This is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I like the song, too. I like the song. I'm not going to sing it to y'all, though. Okay, John 15, 11. John 15, 11 says, These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you. And that your joy might be full. 
And that was uh, Jesus saying that. I'm going to skip up a little bit and read it again. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Wow, that's so good. There's just something about the word joy that just makes me happy. I hope I'm not the only one here that that word just makes me happy. Okay, 1624. John 1624. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Again, 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 um, the 23rd verse. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. All right, let's move on to Romans. I actually put these in order today, so it makes it quite, it makes it a lot easier for me to find the books when I put them in order. Romans 14, 17, and I'm not having to flip back and forth. 14.17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Let not... For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify one another. Okay. I wanted to read a little more. I do that a lot. I just, it's hard to stop. So 15.13 says this. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. So again, a very good scripture about joy. We have one more, First Thessalonians 2.20. And as, also, as always, if you can think of one that you like about joy, then put it in the comments. Wherefore we have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us, for what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are our glory and joy. So Jesus is our glory and our joy. And we read last night about the bridegroom and that Jesus is the bridegroom. And that the Father only knows the time that Jesus will come and get his bride. But let's be full of joy until that happens. And since we don't know the date, we have to just be about the business of God. 
All right, I don't know what script. I don't know which one to do tonight. Did that one the other night. Let's do God's simple plan of salvation. I haven't done it in a while. This is actually, this says um, Grace Baptist Church here in Glen Rose. Dennis Moore Pastor. I don't know whether he wrote this or what, but it's really good. God's simple plan of salvation. My friend, this plan of salvation saved me. I'm concerned about your soul. You can follow this Bible plan and be saved too, is what it says on the front. Ah! <laughs> ah one of my words that we're using tonight is in here. My friend, I'm asking you the most important question of life. Your joy or your sorrow for all eternity depends upon your answer. The question is, are you saved? It is not a question of how good you are, nor if you are a church member, but are you saved? Are you sure you will go to heaven when you die? God says in order to go to heaven, you must be born again. In John 3, 7, Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. In the Bible, God gives us the plan of how to be born again, which means to be saved. His plan is simple. You can be saved today. How? First, my friend, you must realize you are a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Because you are a sinner, you are condemned to death. For the wages, the payment of sin is death. Romans 6.23 This includes eternal separation from God in hell. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9.27 But God loved you so much, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus, to bear your sin and die in your place. He hath made Him, Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Jesus had to shed his blood and die, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. Leviticus 17:11. Without shedding of blood is no remission, which is pardon. Hebrews 9:22. God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5:8. Although, <clears throat> excuse me. Although we cannot understand how, God said my sins and your sins were laid upon Jesus and he died in our place. He became our substitute. It is true, God cannot lie. My friend, God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Acts 17.30 The repentance is a change of mind that agrees with God that one is a sinner and also agrees with what Jesus did for us on the cross. In Acts 16, 30 through 31, the Philippian jailer asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Simply believe on him as the one who bore your sin, died in your place, was buried, in whom God resurrected. His resurrection powerfully assures that the believer can claim everlasting life when Jesus is received as Savior. But as many as, but as, many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, either to them that believe on his name, even to them that believe on his name. John 1.12 for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. Whosoever includes you shall be saved means not maybe nor can, but shall be saved. Surely you realize you are a sinner. Right now, wherever you are, repenting, lift your heart to God in prayer. In Luke 18, 13, the sinner prayed, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Just pray, 
and I'll leave a space if you want to pray this. Oh God, I know I am a sinner. I believe Jesus was my substitute when he died on the cross. I believe his shed blood, death, burial, and resurrection were for me. I now receive him as my savior. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins, the gift of salvation, and everlasting life because of your merciful grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So just take God at his word and claim his salvation by faith. Believe and you will be saved. No church, no lodge, no good works can save you. Remember, God does the saving, all of it. God's simple plan of salvation is you are a sinner. Therefore, unless you believe on Jesus who died in your place, you will spend eternity in hell. If you believe on him as your crucified, buried, and risen Savior, you receive forgiveness for all of your sins and his gift of eternal salvation by faith. You say, surely it cannot be that simple. Yes, yes, that simple. It is scriptural. It is God's plan. My friend, believe on Jesus and receive him as Savior today. If his plan is not perfectly clear, read this tract over and over without laying it down until you understand it. Your soul is worth more than all the world. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Be sure you are saved. If you lose your soul, you miss heaven and lose all. Please let God save you this very moment. God's power will save you, keep you saved, and enable you to live a victorious Christian life. There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 Do not trust your feelings, they change. Stand on God's promises, they never change. After you are saved, there are three things to practice daily for spiritual growth. Pray, which is talking to God. Read your Bible, God talks to you. And witness, you talk for God. You should be baptized in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ as a public testimony of your salvation, and then unite with a Bible-believing church without delay. Be, thou, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. 2 Timothy 1.8 Whosoever therefore shall confess, testify of me before men, him I will confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 10, 32. So that is God's simple plan of salvation. And that is so good. I like that so much. And if you accepted Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And the angels are rejoicing. Today is the first day of your spiritual journey. And it's a spiritual journey back to heaven because we want to follow Jesus to heaven. We want to we want to be as close behind Jesus as we can get so he can protect us. All right. Well, I think I did everything that God has called me to do. It did not take me very long tonight. I guess it's good. I said I wasn't going to be on here for very long tonight. So here is God's blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. 
the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So that is number 6, 24 through 26. All right, well, let's jump into some more prayer, and I am going to get off of here. I need to go feed Seth, and uh, I think I'm just going to relax the rest of the night. Tomorrow is the action-packed day for me, and so we have a youth swim party tomorrow after church, so... I gotta get up a little bit earlier in the morning so I can be ready earlier. All right, well, let's pray. Let's pray about, let's just pray in general for people. God, we just come to you and we thank you, God. We thank you that you do give us joy, God, and that Jesus gives us joy too. Jesus offers us salvation and eternal life. We're so thankful, God. We just pray that you would bless our families and that you would protect us and provide for us and for our children, for our siblings and their families, God, for our grandchildren and their families, just anyone that comes on here, God. I pray that you would bless their family abundantly. I pray for Josie and her family, God. I pray for Mr. Mike and the boys that he takes care of, God. I just pray for blessings, protection, and provision for them. And God, I just pray for our church. I pray for um, our youth tomorrow as we get together and have some fellowship out at the Clark's house, God. I just pray that that will go well. We're going to have the boys and girls out there. And uh, I just pray that they would have a good time, God. It's always fun to go out there. And uh, I just pray, God, that uh, you would keep us all safe, that you would extend your traveling mercies to us. God, I pray for my daughter and her family, too. I never know where they are or what they're doing. I just pray for safety for them. And I thank you for a good day today, a good meal that we were able to have God and provision for haircuts for Seth and I and provision for things that we needed at Dollar General just thank you for those little things God and that we still had enough money left and we went to Dairy Queen and everybody got a treat so God these are simple days but they are days that we can be thankful and grateful and we can always be joyful today and tomorrow and every day God there is always something to be thankful and grateful and joyful for and uh, I just praise you and thank you for all the many things that you do in our lives I just pray that you would keep us right behind Jesus so that he can protect us and he can show us which step to take and order our steps. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Oh, my eye itches. All right, my pray and share warriors. This is time for me to get off. Have an awesome rest of your night and awesome tomorrow. And I hope to see you tomorrow, Josie, and your baby girl, Abby, tomorrow at church, too. And, um, uh, much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.